Hi everybody, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be talking about how stress can affect sexual desire in our relationships and some strategies for dealing with stress in relationships to help bring you back to a place where you are happy and content with your sexual desire. So sex is an attachment behavior. So when your attachment is like threatened or in trouble or you and your partner are sharing a similar stressor, sex can be a really powerful way to reconnect. However, that being said, when you are in a spot in your relationship where there isn't a lot of stress and there's a lot of neutrality, the need for sex and the powerful tool of sex of bringing you back together and creating that connection can sometimes dwindle and drop. So what I mean by that is that if you are feeling like an outsider or like you're not in a connected, safe, home, loving space with your partner, that could sometimes like increase your desire. Maybe not always in the best way, but it's a way that we try to attach with our partner. Similarly, if you and your partner are going through something and you like complete the stress cycle, so you go through a really hard time together, you support one another, you listen to each other, you let each other feel their feelings, and you hold space for that, sex can be a really powerful way to bring you back together after that. However, when we're experiencing stress on our own, 80% of people who experience stress so, you know, maybe you're really stressed out at work, like you don't know if you're going to have your job in the next couple months, or, you know, you're going through a really hard time with a family member or a friend, and you're that's all consuming in your mind. 80% of people are going to have that hit your brakes. Now, about 20% of people actually feel more desire when they're stressed. So, um, for them, when they're going through a stressful time, sex really helps them calm down and regulate their nervous system. So, think about, you know, what bucket you're in there. When you get really stressed out, do you crave sex or do you not? After sex. Typically, for most women, we're part of the 80%, um, but it's not always. So just think about, you know, the last time you were really stressed, were you feeling any sexual desire? One thing to note, though, is that stress does decrease the amount of pleasure someone can get from sex, even if you're part of that, like, 20% who have more desire when you are stressed out. So it's important that we learn how to deal with stresses um, so we can, you know, complete the cycle of stress and get back into a place where we feel sexual desire again. So when I say complete the cycle of stress, often when you get stressed, you need to, like, unlock the stress, understand, like, okay, this is it. Then you need to, like, freeze and sit with it, understand, like, okay, this is what's, you know, bothering me right now. Then you need to figure out a way to remove yourself from the stress or deal with the stress and conquer it. Um, and once you do all of those things and you allow yourself to go through the motions of handling stress, that's when you can actually get back to that state of neutrality where sexual desire can build and oftentimes our you know desire for sex will spike again, especially if we go through that with a partner and like rely on them and our partner shows up for us, we can feel a sense of like wholeness and wanting to um, you know connect with them again. Because like I said before, sex is an attachment behavior and it's a way to create a social bond between adults. Whether that bond is something that's positive, so maybe it's like when you're just getting to know someone or, you know, you are excited because everything seems really joyful and pleasurable in your relationships, maybe in that honeymoon phase, or if, you know, your attachment is threatened with your partner and, you know, you might be breaking up or, you know, things aren't going as well as they usually go, a lot of people can use sex as a way to re-bond with their partner and use it to get close with them again. However, when, you know, neither of those situations are happening and we're in that neutral state where, you know, we know our partner but we're not threatened that they're going to leave, our sexual desire, because there is no stress, is going to be neutral which means sometimes our desire is gonna dip and we're not gonna have as much sexual desire. So, with all that being said, the way that we want to not allow stress to kill our sexual desire is to use stress in a positive way to help bring us closer and bond with our partner. So, it's inevitable that going through the motions of life, stressors are gonna come up, and the more that you can be a stable, providing teammate and partner for your partner and also vice versa, rely on your partner to help you move through stressors in life and be that support system for you, the more you're gonna be strengthening that bond and being able to complete the full cycle. So it's a way that you can create, you know, more healthy stressors in your relationship that's not the honeymoon stage or the breakup stage, but just the everyday life and use sex as a bonding tool that brings you back home to each other. So when your teammates and you're going through life on a day-to-day -day basis, think about ways that you can support your partner show up for them, help them by turning off their breaks. So, you know, 
If I'm really stressed out about my mother because she is not doing well, maybe you help me look up care homes for her or you help me with finding the right doctor or you help me with you know creating a plan for how we're going to uh, navigate this situation with the kids or with our jobs and allow me to you know rely on you help me with that stress move through the cycle so that that is no longer something that's stepping on my break and then I can use that as a way to bond with you and use that as a way to reconnect sexually. So yeah, overall, if you're having sex, that is going to help you and your partner advance your plot together and bring each other closer. That sex is better than just having sex because you can and you should. Um, you want to think of reasons to have sex with your partner because the more you think of a compelling reason to have sex with your partner, such as creating that social bond, making yourself feel home and, that's, and safe again, you're going to want to have more sex and you're probably going to start to have better sex. So that's how to use stress to your advantage in your relationships to have better sex and not let it, you know, ruin your sex life. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps our channel. You can also follow us at CVO Wellness on Instagram. We share a lot of helpful information there. Uh, and we'll see you for another video soon.